Okay, so you probably know about Google Translate. If you don't, translate.google.com. You can copy and paste another language. You know, if you get it from another web page, from another, you know, country language, you can paste in the Google Translate and it'll do its best to translate it. And oftentimes it'll detect the language too. Um, but typically you can just pick what kind of language it is and what you want it translated to, such as into English. Uh, and then it'll translate it. So for example, I can copy and paste some German and it'll translate it. This is a simple translation from one language into another. That's basically the German that was written out. Um, I did it in reverse. I actually typed it in English, translated German, and then copied the German. And that's how I was able to paste that. But uh, Google Translate is awesome. It's free. There's a mobile app. Um, I've used that often because I'll, I'll go when I travel around the world. And it has a great ability. Uh, just, just like the web-based version does too. You see this little microphone here. You can actually speak a certain language into it like you can speak English into it and it'll play a German Spanish Japanese whatever the translated version of that what you just spoke you'll hear the volume you'll hear the language spoken it's just very very powerful um, I was traveling uh, in Ukraine last year and I was literally you know speaking English into Google Translate and having it say the Russian version uh, through the speaker so I could communicate, let's say, in a grocery store with someone that didn't speak any English at all. And it, it was very, very effective. But anyways, you can use Google Translate to translate marketing, to translate ad copy, to translate, you know, some different just web page copy or articles or at least excerpts of it. You can just throw it into Google Translate and it'll kick back like the English version if you set it to do that. Uh, just so you can kind of basically navigate your way through other languages if you don't speak other languages or know how to translate them. Now, obviously, uh, if you use Google Chrome as your web browser, it automatically triggers the translation from Google Translate and it'll translate entire web pages automatically into those other languages. It'll ask if you want to do that and if you just have it on default as yes, always translate into other languages. Then you can navigate around different language uh, websites and it'll automatically translate it into English and it's you know it's not perfect but it tries to do a decent job um, but that's at least one way that you can poke around and do some research and look at uh, marketing in other languages that's by using Google Translate it's an incredible free service and um, just highly recommend it not only the mobile app but the web app and I think there's a desktop app for it as well um, and of course, it's a built-in kind of process in Google Chrome and Google Chrome browser. Uh, so I highly recommend that you uh, just, you know, bookmark and, and use Google Translate. It's very, very powerful.